pretty old, what can I say? Oh, is that so? How old is Google? Wow. <laughs> I, I immediately went to go move the camera. And again, that's not how this game works. <laughs> I need I need to get a handle on my uh on my reflexes. Luckily this time I don't have a finger injury. Oh, there we go. There it goes again. Old enough to drink. I am. I'm 26. Or were you talking about the game is old enough to drink? <laughs> You were on stream. <laughs> you just didn't know. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't tell you or try to tell you. I was just like, whatever. Oh no, I'm under attack. Uh, we're going to Kakariko Village. Oh, Google and Zelda. Yeah. Link, as an adult in this game, is only seventeen. Therefore, he will not be able to drink. Of course, because Google is older than me. Um, I was listening to a podcast this morning, and the guy was like talking about being in high school in the late 2010s, and I was like, "Geez, I'm old, aren't I?" Wait, it's not this one, is it? No, that's to the river. Oh, to the mouth of the river. Yeah. Early to 2010s. He was late 2010s. He's only 20. Yeah, it depends on when your birthday falls. I was I was 18 when I graduated. Um, but yeah, some people they just have that weird birthday where. Um. No, they're just in between. Okay. Um, what do I want to do? I got the cuckoos. Cuckoos. Uh, I got the Lost Woods. Oh, page to my power gaming manual. Going to Death Mountain. Um, right. Did I? Okay. I might have lost some progress, and if I did, that's okay. That's fine. Um, you have Sun Song. Okay, we still have Sarai's Song. That is what I needed to know, because I. I accidentally closed the game and did not mean to. Okay, people ask me if I was doing okay in school because I was too young for my grade. Isn't too young like either either you started early like in your case and that's like reasonable. Or like you skipped a grade, so like why would they ask that? Like I would think that the opposite would be the worrying case, like when you're like way older than everyone else. <laughs> Ba -na -na -na. You would think I did pretty good in school. So naturally, I was a bit. <laughs> oh, this is. This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm. Okay. This is Link. He is under my order to save Hyrule. Ah! What a kind of. What kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, alright. You could go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. Wa ha 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 ha. <laughs> I I imagined it like a Wario laugh. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano after all. But I was that obnoxious nerd who didn't let my friends cheat off me. Instead, I would offer to help them study. Yeah, not Uber is same. I was I was 18 too. Um Apparently Lady Death is just head and shoulders above us all. What can I say? We we would do well to catch up with her. I was in college at 17. Okay, that'd be a real problem for me. <laughs> if you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. 
I only lasted a year. You're in college now, though. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now, I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the happy mask shop that just opened in Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So, could you go and get the mask for me next time you are in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. I'm so glad I don't work 24 hours a day like this guy. You should do homework. <laughs> no, I hang out on the stream. <laughs> I want you to hang out with us. We're having fun. Saving Hyrule. Um, let's get the uh get that going. Uh yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so the reason why he tells you to go get a shield is because your shield can burn. Um I, however, don't care. Oops. I should, because I'm not good at games. <laughs> Shoot. I should quit and make a career out of working at a gas station. I think school's a good idea. Dang it! Why do I keep missing? Um. Yeah, I don't have the bombs yet. We're a, we're a pro school stream. Uh, you don't work at a gas station, that's why. Otherwise, I would I would think it's a good idea. I mean, there's nothing wrong with working at a gas station. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, doing the voice of these guys is gonna kill me. I'm one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. Blocks the entrance to Dodongo's cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. Dodongo has no respect. Bet he's hoarding all the red sapphires. On top of that, Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. If you want to hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. <laughs> Go give me what you owe me. <laughs> Instead of like... Instead of, like, doing the quest and solving the puzzles and fighting him, just, like, bitch slap him and take it. No, don't attack the Goron. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? Nope. I can't see her right now. Whoa, hey, man. Be cool. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We're in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dodongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around here are found in the Dodongo's Cavern. That seems like ancient history now. We become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Sigh. I want to eat the top of the sirloin rocks from the doggo's cavern. Oh man, I've never seen this game play before. Well, good. You're in for a ride. I think there is a... Is it only at night? 
Oh, shoot. I meant to click up and I clicked sideways and now I need to catch my bugs again. Crap! <laughs> catch the bugs! <laughs> There, uh, no, there's not. You have to wait for him to stand up before you can talk to him. Except played fast. Over and over. Hey. Dangerous for a little kid like you to come out here. You might fall down. If I'm not mistaken, you came out here to eat the redstone. Well, too bad. It's not here. What? That's not why you're here? You're looking for a spiritual stone? You must meet that delicious looking redstone that was once displayed here. I was so hungry that I thought it would be okay to just give it one tiny little lick. So I snuck out here, but it was already gone. I think Big Brother took it away. He always says that everyone is after that redstone. Big Brother has shut himself up in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. I've only ever played Breath of the Wild and beat between that. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. So he he tells you what to do. Um. Yep, that's what happened. Alright, what's his voice? What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face, now! Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? <laughs> okay, I can't do that voice. <laughs> Ancient creatures have infested the Dongo's Cavern. We have had a, we've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers, starvation, and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Uh, I forgot how to make him help you. Impa said that the spiritual stone of fire is somewhere on Death Mountain. How do I make him talk to me? Good thing I have a little... <laughs> I think little is my least favorite word. Oh, okay, okay. I know what you do. Nope, that's not it. Uh, what's the... I don't have all the songs memorized still. Down, right, left. I don't remember how you're supposed to know to do this. <laughs> this is making you uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah, <laughs> I'll read. I'll read you what the <laughs> what the uh, power mag says. One of the Gorons mentioned their great leader Darunia loved music and dancing, but when Link opened the locked door and spoke to Darunia, the chief Goron was not pleased at all. The only thing Link could think of to calm the Goron was to play the songs, was to play a song, something peaceful like Soraya's song. It didn't have the intended effect. Darunia leaped and danced like a Goron half his age. In the end, he was so impressed with Link that he gave him the Goron's bracelet and a new mission. To get rid of the Dodongos! <laughs> I 
Oh, that's a combine misconception, uh, Lady Death. I, I don't. I understand why you think that. Not a problem. Um, it's been so long since I've. This game is great. Look at all. Look, you can see all the surfaces on his body. <laughs> like every plane that makes up his. <laughs> I, I I don't have a... He, uh, okay. Waluigi impression? Yahoo! I don't know. <laughs> hey, what a nice tune! Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Dobronia! I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You wanted the spiritual stone of fire too? The Spiritual Stone of Fire, also known as the Goron's Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside the Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I'll give you anything you want, even the Spiritual Stone. <laughs> you know, I think there is like... Some truth to dancing, making you making you feel better, just like any kind of exercise does, right? It, re it releases the feel-good chemicals. I have something for you. I'm not really giving this to you in return for anything, but take it anyways. If you wear this, even a little fellow like you can pick up a bomb flower using A. <coughs> yeah, this lets you use bombs. Well, not the bombs that you carry in your thing dopamine triggered serotonin production yeah something like that that's what i said i want how do i can i not oh it's too high i can't grab it okay i know what to do we shall use our brain <laughs> Not quite. We're gonna play with fire. Oh, my stick burned. Wait till you get to Dancing with Fire. Not this stream. Maybe next time. Uh, I don't think I can buy anything that he has. If I'm gonna buy anything, I should buy a shield. I need money. Tech. Here, I think I can make it up here. That was it? Yeah, that's great. Daylight savings. Doesn't Arizona do that already? I think Arizona... One other place. I could be wrong. Nope. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna do this now. Um. Now we could all do it, potentially. Yeah. It's, uh... I think it's a good idea. Bombs are like as big as Link. There's another one. I would not like to have my sleep schedule messed with. I agree. 
I agree. I think, oh my goodness. I think this is a positive thing. The other guy, he's actually a little bit easier to stop if you don't do it with the bombs. I am only annoyed with spring forward. <laughs> I'm a fan of getting rid of daylight savings because there is no practical purpose for it. So, do you know what standard they're going to? So, standard time, not daylight savings time? I'm working on something really cool right now, but I think it's gonna take a while. You can wait five or six years. You should be ready, okay? Yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying that, like, it's not gonna change, but, um... So the difference is, is like standard time versus daylight saving time. And so I'm wondering if there's, cause I would think that they would oh, go permanently on daylight saving time. Oh no! Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we're on the same wavelength. Essentially, the spring forward time would be standard time. So they go, so they're going to stay on daylight saving. Is that what that means? <laughs> nope. No, they're not they're not doing that. You <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay. Did I did I get everything that I wanted? Yeah. Okay. We would be on mountain daylight time. Well, I hope I still hit it. Oh, I think I'm fine. Basically holding one hour of sleep in spring to be used in fall. Wait. Hang on. Oh, shoot. That's not what I meant to do. There's a heart piece right here. Just give me three hours in the fall. <laughs> Just be constantly moving ahead. Uh, or, I mean, back, right? Back gives you an hour. So just, so instead of just moving forward ever, just always move back. Um, How many Skultillas do I have? Should I get, like, uh, no, it's fine. Not Ubers, I read your original message where you first brought this up. And um, I was worried you were like, gonna be like super political. And then I was relieved that it was just daylight savings. <laughs> it's, it's a political discussion we can all get behind. It's gonna be a night owl. Be perfectly fine living at night. Look, if you can move the speed of light or closer to it. <laughs> yeah, so actually, Lady Death, I was thinking about it and that I wouldn't be surprised if my blood draw that happened yesterday. I went to the doctor basically because I've been sleeping like a lot lately. I needed a blood draw to test for certain things. I wouldn't be surprised, whoops, if uh, the vitamin D deficiency was the problem. Because I do go outside every day, but I usually go outside at night. Um, I try to go on, like, a walk every day, at least if I don't, like, go somewhere. And so, um, but like I said, it's only at night, and so I don't get, like, the, the sun vitamins, you know? Gold Gossip Stone. The statue's one eye gaze is pierces into your mind. I think if you hit it, it tells you the time. The time is 618. 
I guess I get more sun vitamins than you and I don't realize it. Well, yeah. Because you go outside during the day. I literally don't. So you're a vampire? No, I'm just vitamin D deficient. <laughs> it's a common misconception. <laughs> But we'll see. We'll see when the blood draw comes back. The the lab work... Well, at first he was like, are you bipolar? And I was like, I don't think so. I feel like you'd have to tell me that. Um, makes sense now that I think about it. You wear a lot of hoodies. It's cold! It's winter here! I'm cold, damn it! <laughs> Don't you mail. Temperature wise, I can be bipolar. No, he meant like literally bipolar because I take a certain medication that he thought. What's that? Hot than cold. Yeah, I brought it up first. Um. It's okay. Woo! There's a guy there. It's okay. <laughs> but that's why I was confused about what you're saying. I give up. If you let me go, I'll sell you a Deku shield. It's 50 rupees. I'm too poor. You can't have this now. Come back again. Oh, there's another wall over there. Okay. Whoops. So she did it wrong, too. Yeah, um, well, he was asking because I think that this- this may be one of those medications that, um... could potentially like reverse the effects um if you have certain like mental disorders and um i think bipolar is one of the ones that changes the way the medicine works but i was like no i don't think i'm bipolar but that's what someone who is bipolar would say Three hours, jeez. Well, you have a newborn. <laughs> Babies are fun. Uh, sure, fun. Oops. Oh good, I got a heart. <laughs> uh oh. Ow. Come back! You coward! They are super adorable and super snuggly. Yeah, but I can get that with, like, a cat. Oh, he got me. Heavy thinkers? I was blocking! Oh no! It's okay. I wasn't that far in the dungeon. And you don't really lose anything from dying in this game, just like a tiny bit of progress. 
Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh, almost missed. The baby Dodongos explode, but they don't have much health. One rupee for all that fighting? I either get three to five hours or eight to ten. Yeah. Which they say, like, sleep consistency is, like, one of the best things you can do for your mental health. But I don't know anybody that, like, can literally get the same amount of sleep every day. Like, I can't. Like, I'm in bed, like, usually the same time every night. But, like, who knows when I'm going to fall asleep. Although I have a family history of insomnia that I'm kind of working against. Oh, treasure. I have work. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, so here's the thing about that is, um, well, it's pre yeah, it's preventable, but also like you have like a ton of warning. Um, like you, you could like. As long as you're, like, semi-conscious about it, you can go your whole life without getting it. Even though they both have it, right? It's not, like, a guarantee or anything. But it's like, well, both my parents developed diabetes, so... Yeah, you have a strong family history of addiction. But the nice thing is is because you know that, like, you can account for it, right? Like, that's the problem when people, like, uh, don't know their birth parents. They, they literally, like, they don't know, like, what they, they have, like, a predisposition to. Um, and so a lot of times, like, they'll still, like, They'll try to find that out for the, like their own safety. Yeah, it's like a mixed bag, right? Because you're like, oh, I don't want all these problems. So, like, it's better to know that you have like. A genetic predisposition to addiction or whatever it is. I think you hit their tail is how you beat them. Yeah. Oh, they explode. Sorry, I was only kind of half listening because I was fighting the Dodongo. <laughs> sure. Oh, he got me.
through, especially if like you're aware of it. Yeah. Oh, I missed. I was robbed. Oh, get away from the bomb. Okay, I got them all. So I'm guessing what I have to do is light all the torches in this room. I did go the long way because I wasn't sure if there was one side. I'm a genius! Too good at games! Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't see that. Oh, I don't think I did that right. I think it has to be in the middle. behind here. Uh, do I want to go up? Yeah, let's go up. Oh, I hear an enemy. How did we hit the further one? Uh, enemy? Yeah. Oh. I see. Inverted controls! Come on, the 90s! Can I claim this? Yes. Bum ba da ba da! Oh! Okay, this is gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to be very careful not to get my shield burnt. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I don't- dude, you could tell stories, but I'm gonna mic you if you're gonna keep telling them. <laughs> then I- then I can't help you. Yeah, it's not very fun if they can just hear me and not you. Like, you have interesting things to say, but I want everyone to hear it. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Darn. 
it's fine. I don't care. Uh, where's the other? Oh, maybe I can't like. Yeah, just Discord call. Oh, I can't join a Discord call. Because <laughs> I, because it's down here. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I want you miked. I like hanging out with you. But I don't want it to be like one-sided, you know? <laughs> uh, let's see, how do I do this? Okay, that fixed that problem. I can't hear you anymore. Yeah. Oh, I deafened. Okay. You're also, You're also really crazy. loud. My mic is picking me up. Okay. Your, my mic or your mic? Your mic is picking me up. It's okay, though. Is there a Discord setting that has, like, a mute group? I want you to be quiet when you're streaming. Uh, yeah, let me turn you up. And play some video. Is that better? I talk louder to your ear. Or I can just change your volume. Well, I... It's not a problem. <laughs> okay. That's all good. Okay. Cool. Now, if you want to... Tell me stories, you can. Oh, you know the the stories of several teenagers stealing from our store today? <laughs> and then all the police coming to hang out? Yeah, yeah we, we got tons of sheriffs hanging out with us. It's actually the same sheriff every time who was annoyed with us. It's not your fault, though. No, no but it was actually like the same two different teenagers multiple times during the day. Because, you know, you got away with it once. You're going to continue to do the same thing because you got away with it. But didn't okay. realize that we caught on to you. No. <laughs> we trespassed you. And then we caught you again. Yeah, I just... Like... So did the... Well, you do push the top. Better. Hello. Oh, that's much better. It's just, it's really confusing when you hear yourself talk because, um, my brain, like, I think of it as like having two different modes, like listening and speaking. And so if I'm listening to myself, I can't, like, think about what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, I guess I better throw this bomb! <laughs> oh, dang it. That's fine. So, if we'd have this girl who'd come in every day, multiple times a day pouring monsters into her fountain soda and, like, making it look different. We Fire. caught her. We trespassed her. We saw her, like, once today. And then she got away. Then she came back with a friend to fill her cup- her friend's cup up with monster. And then we caught her, and then one of us actually said something. And I felt really bad because it was, like, that deer in the headlights look like, oh, man, I actually got caught. <laughs> well, my question is is um 
Well, first off, like, why does she keep coming back? Because that just seems really stupid to me. But, um... So, was she, like, showing her friend her, like, neat hack she figured out? <laughs> it actually seemed that way. Because the friend was even more scared. And she gets caught. That's hilarious. And for her friend, the one who's doing it almost on the daily, was like, I'll pay for it. But the friend was, like, freaked out. Because she actually got caught. Oh, I think that's good. Yeah, well, good. Like, what they'll do at Walmart is, like, they won't catch you right away. They'll, like, build a case against you and then, like, bring the hammer down. Yeah, we, we called the sheriffs and the, the the girl, she was really scared. She's like, well, I'll just pay for it right now. And we're like, yeah, it's too late. <laughs> Why didn't you pay for it before? Right we don't even know if it, like, goes past the time that we started seeing this pattern happen. Yeah. We just know that it started happening, and we only know the four current monsters that you haven't paid for yet. Which, yeah. Yes, we expect you to still pay for those monsters. Oh, but... you charged her for the other ones, too? Well, not today. That's like an eventual thing, but she is not allowed on our property for like the next year. Because of what she's done. But she thought she was just gonna pay for it now. No. And it would all go away. You broke the law a bunch of times. Yeah, that, uh... She looked really scared. And my oh. brother and her friend were, like, just sitting in the corner, and you could see some kind of heated discussion. I'm sure the friend was like, you just got me in a lot of trouble. Sure. I hope she was in a lot of trouble. Well, yeah, because she also got caught trying to do the same thing, knowing the repercussions of the action. She probably also got trespassed on the property. Yeah. You learn your lesson one way or the other. I mean, don't luckily steal. it's only it's only a year. Like it seems like a lot for like a kid probably, but it could be worse. It could be permanent. Or they could be like arrested. Oops. Yeah, the the sheriff came in, asked how old she was. They went out, had a discussion, and basically I think like he probably told her you can't come to this property for a year. That's already a done deal. Like you can't go back on that. And you still have to pay for those drinks that you have been caught stealing. Oh, man. Did she c confess to stealing more? Or was it just those four? She didn't confess to more. She said she'd pay for any drinks that we said she needed to pay for. I mean, I guess that's good. I, I felt like a real meanie. Because well, I, 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 I found the monster that she had thrown in the trash can. And as she was up at the counter and Gina was telling her, like, hey, this is someone's paycheck. You think that it's not affecting someone, but it really is. And then my store manager had me, like, set the drink right in front of her. <laughs> and I was like, uh, I'm going to walk away now. <laughs> it's like mic drop, but can drop. <laughs> there was already a can up there from this same day. So I'm ha I have a feeling that this has been going on for a while, multiple cans, but they're only going to charge her for four. The ones that we actually have caught. Well, I wonder if she's also not the only one doing it. No, because she only does the, the white monsters, but we've had other cans show up in her trash can, so it's probably like a trend. Like, we yeah. also had a kid come in and we have self-checkouts, which I don't know why we still have those, because... Very consistently, we have these kids coming in who scan one item and then leave with, like, five items. Yeah. And while that actually came up, we had kids coming in and still doing it, and we'd call them out saying, hey, you need to pay for this other stuff, and they would give some, like, excuse, like, oh, the, the other stuff didn't ring up properly, so... Oh, I then you know. should probably ask for help instead of stealing. Yeah, they gave dirty looks when we told them that. <laughs> oh, I don't have a shield. Shoot. I surrender. In return, I will sell you Deku Nuts. Uh, well, but we told him the repercussions of their not. actions. Okay. Hey, if you walk out without paying for items, you can't come back for another year. And you get dirty lurks, but I'm sure that was enough for them to understand. Like, hey, I didn't get away with this. Ah. And I'm probably not going to get away with it again because it's yeah. becoming a... Like, the things, things that things, things I think Did have I buy it? been going on for a while are now starting to come up. 
And now we're going to be looking more closely at what people are checking out on their self-checkouts and what... I just always assume that I'm being watched when I'm self-checking out. Like, people don't do that? Me too. One time I was checking out a donut from a different store, and I think I accidentally put small donut and didn't realize I got a large donut. But that isn't clear. And I felt guilty for so long. <laughs> you can... You can go back and pay for the donut if you want. <laughs> I have. Oh. <laughs> I got an do you feel donut. better? I, I do. I got an assorted donut when I was paying for a specialty donut because I one time bought a specialty donut at the price of an assorted donut. So, therefore, I paid the debt. Oh, good. I'm glad that you cleared your conscience. <laughs> 100% cleared conscience we'd have people who work with us so that like we have like eat stuff and put it on the write-off sheet what they don't work with us no more but well that's like not even that's just stealing that's not even pretending not to steal fresh took itself out that's all i gotta say okay fair enough retail is so much fun oh I missed. Oh, I still got him. That being said, the sheriffs were tired of seeing us after today. Not your fault people were stealing. I mean, I guess it is because you were catching them, but... I tried to turn a blind eye. Just kidding, I didn't. <laughs> no, they were acting really suspicious that they would, like, stare at us while it was happening, and then it was like, whoa, what's happening? And then we'd find it. They're dumb kids. Listen, I think that's the best time to be caught. Because, like, yeah, they get kicked out of the store for a year, but, like, that's not really a consequence, and hopefully they make better choices next time. I always feel like someone is going to come up and question you at self-checkout. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm always suspicious at self-checkout. I, I always feel like I'm being watched. Like, I don't... I can't imagine having the nerve to, to just steal something. Like, that's crazy to me. Well, we had that group of teenagers who would check one thing out and, like, leave with, like, five, six, ten items. And they would, like, all, like, there would be three. And they would try to hide the screen from me. Unbeknownst to them, I could see everything that comes up on their screen on my screen. Well, they think they're smart. Like, the... But I was currently checking out another person, so I had one of the managers, like, look at the screen. I was like, did they pay for those empanadas and those pizzas? And not just the milks, and he's like, no, so we called the cops. And then the guy came back again, oh. right afterwards, and bought, like, a pack of Why did milk cream pies, eyes? but, like, also <laughs> bought, like, a couple other things, but only paid for the one thing, because we have access. To that is the weirdest part to me, is that, like, people get away with stealing something, and then they come back. Like, that's, that's, like, the weirdest part to me, like... Congrats, you got away. Don't push your luck. I stole once in my childhood because I was dumb. I stole a pack of pens from a Dollar General. Hear that? The police are on their way. Because I was scared. I'm, I never went back to that story. I'm, I'm calling the police. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. I don't go back to the... I don't, I don't re repeat offend or anything like that. That one time that I stole from a store... Because I felt so guilty and scared. Yeah. But these kids like legitimately thought that they they were getting away with it. We just weren't able to catch them in the act. Well, it's because they're stupid. <laughs> well, they're do I they're doing something that is like objectively stupid. I'm allowed to call it. Yeah, they repeat offended. With their face on camera all the time, especially at the self checkout where your face is immediately in front of the camera. Well, There's a clear picture of your face, by the way. Well, or they came in and they usually wear the same exact goofy hat that you don't see normally. <laughs> They're not smart. They're not good at. Oh, there was the shortcut. Well, they don't think we're paying attention. Oh. The I only reason why we caught them today was because, like, 
they were giving one of our uh, store managers the side eyes and like weird like I'm trying to get away with something looks. So I was I was asked to pay attention to them. So I did. And they were just being all weird when I was paying attention to them. They walked up to the self checkout. And every time, like, I would try to see what was on their screen, like, just walking by, one of the kids would, like, walk in my way so I couldn't see what was on their screen. And they think they're being smart and clever by, like, doing that. But in reality, they're just... Now they're an accomplice. Well, now they look super suspicious, because I'm like, why... This is, like, really convenient. So I go, you know, to my counter, and I look exactly at what they're doing, and I see that they have, like, a stack of food on their counter, and only paid for two chocolate milks. And it's like, um... Oh, good, I got a shoe. What? Yeah... They're super clever kids. I don't know. Like... I don't know. I was I was really religious when I was little, and so I didn't steal because God was watching. <laughs> well, I'm watching now. <laughs> <laughs> Narc. I guess so, but guess what? My boss loses money when we don't catch stealers. That so get yelled at. <laughs> that sounds like she's a narc too. No. Um, inventory is like something she can't nudge because she doesn't do it. We have people come in and do our inventory for us. So they're the narcs. Everyone's a narc. Listen, why- Whoa, I didn't mean to throw that. Why can't I just steal things? I just don't understand. <laughs> You're saying they keep track of inventory? I don't know about that. That seems sus. <laughs> yeah. This seems like if you're gonna steal something like an energy drink to me is just not worth stealing. I don't well, I don't know that anything is, but like like what a stupid thing to get in trouble over, I guess. Let's see if I want to go that way or do it. Oh, I can't go that way. I go up here though. Bet I can go that way. Look at all these textures. That's why I didn't pull my shield back out. The fire keys. Ooh, a fairy. Um, do I have a bottle? Well, I think it's another silly thing that a lot of people don't realize that a lot of these stores have, like, a lot of cameras. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Because someone no. accused me of not giving them their cash back when I have a camera that says I did. <laughs> <laughs> it was, like, $10. Come on, man. It's, yeah, I, I was saying when you left um, that it was weird to me that, like... It was worth it to steal, like, an energy drink or a monster or something. Like, that seems really weird to me. Because you're not getting that much, frankly. Oh, there's a Sculptilla. But that's a... Got it! Hey, you're supposed to be dead! Well, the other thing was, like, that one kid made it very apparent. So, like, we were, like, catching, like, a lot of people trying to walk out the door without paying for their items for, like, the rest of the day. <laughs> one rotten apple spoils the bunch, because... Or, or maybe, like... I, I don't know, because I obviously don't know your inventory, but, um... I wonder if those people just do that all the time. It was just you were noticing today because people were being, like, really obvious about it. No, I think that's 100%. Like, I think that, like, a lot of this stuff was going on I for a while. But it just got, like, one small little mess up made it very apparent that things were happening. 
Like today, we wouldn't have probably noticed that kid walking out without paying for his items unless he like gave Gina like a weird look and she said, watch him. And I paid extra attention to what they were doing. Like they just do like one wrong look and then like all of a sudden it's like, wow, we're catching things that we didn't realize people were doing. Ow. Yeah. Although you would think it would be pretty apparent that people are trying to jip out on the, the self-checkout. But, I don't know, I thought that was kind of bold. Because, I'm, I'm like like we established, if I'm at self-checkout, I think I'm being extra watched. So the fact that these kids yeah. are, like, thinking they were getting away with stuff, and then we were, like, continuously catching other kids trying to do the same thing. But they didn't get away with it, so we didn't have to, like, call the cops on them, because... They didn't walk out of the store without paying for their items. I see. Kind of caught them, and we know who to watch out for now. Who, like, gave some excuse why they weren't paying for their items. Like, oh, it wasn't scanning up properly, so I was just gonna, you know. And you're like, uh huh. One dollar for five items. And we're like, uh huh. Yeah, that's why you're giving us really dirty looks, because now we're asking you to pay for your items that you almost <laughs> walked out with. Yeah. Yeah, I the self checkout makes me nervous. Like, I'm actually really careful to not accidentally miss scan something because I get so nervous because I feel like I'm being watched. Um, one time I was checking out at Walmart and I I had a big cart full of groceries at the self checkout and I got out to my car and I was like, "Oh, there's some milk in my cart that I that I didn't pay for," so I brought it back in the store. And the woman who looked remarkably like Carrie Fisher, I was like, I stole this on accident. I'm here to pay for it. And she was like, it happens. <laughs> yeah, we had a guy come in the other day and he was like, did I pay for this? And I was like, I don't know. And I looked at the other person who was with me that day and I was like, did they come and check out with you? And she's like, I don't know this guy. And I'm like, I'm guessing you didn't pay for those things. He's like, oh man, I totally walked out without... But that's item. different. Like, I genuinely, like, think that, like, yeah, it happens sometimes. Like, it's fine. <laughs> oh, I didn't throw that. I don't know why I didn't throw it. Oh, it still hits me. Oh, boy. Well, the, the thing is, 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 like, we're not perfect, and we don't see everything. And there, you can get away with a lot if you don't see it. Because we're not watching the cameras unless, like, we suspect something's happening. Um, I mean, we do see a lot. But things slip by us. We get busy. I mean, especially since we're like the busiest location in the whole company. And we have yeah. the most employees out of the whole company. Like all the different locations. Things still get by us. And it's really nice. I mean, almost kind of like, oh man, I can't believe I didn't catch that. <laughs> but thank you for coming back and paying for your <laughs> Yeah. So my question is is it mostly kids that steal? So far, like, today was only kids. We've had, like, five okay. kids today that we've had to report from um, and get to be trespassed where they can't come back to our location or any location for at least a year, and they were all under the age of 18. Which, it's awful because we live in a remote location, and as of right now, there's not really much other stores you can go to, like, on your lunch break. And then we also have kids who go to school with these other kids who work with us, and they're like, oh yeah, by the way, I know them a lot, so hopefully these kids <laughs> are gonna go and tell these other kids, like, don't go to this location, or you might have to, like, go face-to-face -face with the cops. Yeah, so just for context, um, we live in a remote area next to a high school, and so what happens is kids leave the school grounds for lunch, like, it, I did it too in high school, um, and they go to the gas station, because that's really all that's around here. The bus drives them to the gas station and parks them. Oh, the okay. Station. I didn't know that. I thought they were just walking from the school. I mean, yeah, it's kind of far, but I was like, if they're determined.
The spiritual stone of fire! The Goron's Ruby! You obtained the Goron's Ruby. This is the spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. You did great! How about a big Goron hug, brother? To the Great Fairy! If, uh, if you, if you are sensitive, don't look at the Great Fairy. <laughs> Whoops. I can't see because it's rock in the way. Here, I'll just set it. There we go. What? Oh! Ow! There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice of you to agree to work. Oh, that's the secret? That's... that's... Yeah, one time I had a phone shift. And, um... I lost my voice. And they still kept me on for, like, two hours. And I was like, this is stupid. I can't talk on... Like, m my, my voice was so gone. My boss thought I was faking it. I'm like, I don't fake things like that. You should know better. I don't act that way. Bugs. Don't need the bugs. Okay. Okay. If you are uh, sensitive to potential to low resolution nudity. <laughs> Yeah. I'm the great fairy of power. I'm going to grant you a sword technique. Receive it now. This game, man. Mastered the secret technique of the spin attack. Hold B to charge your weapon and release B to unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, 
Just rotate the stick once and press B for a very effective quick spin. When you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. He'll surely grant you another new power. Okay, so you gotta go to the castle. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. <laughs> the great fairies in this game, man. They're, uh... They're interesting. Hey, I think this guy will take me away. I don't think I want to go in there yet. Woohoo! Well, it looks like you've grown a little from the great fairy's power. But you still don't really look like the hero who will save Hyrule. At least not yet. We are going back down the mountain. I can lend you a wing. Come here and grab my talons and hold on tight. What's up, Brandon Shock? You missed the great fairy, but don't worry, we're gonna go see another one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it counts as nudity if the boobs are like four polygons. Okay. Uh... Uh, I hate this. <laughs> what? That's madness. Madness. Oh. I, th I think it's great that in uh, Breath of the Wild, they made them kind of like drag queens a little bit. Like, I know they're not drag queens, but um, the aesthetic is strong. I guess I can put my shield back on now that we're done on Death Mountain. Oh, I did have a Hylian shield. I didn't even know that. Backwards running through Hyrule Field. Backwards flipping. Oh, I'm gonna land in the water. <laughs> I flipped too much. My flips were too powerful. How do I leave this? Oh, over here. <laughs> oh, we gotta go to the happy mask shop. And we gotta go see the other great fairy. Bum bum ba ba dum bum bum ba da ba dum ba da ba da ba da dum. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Hey, welcome to the Happy Mask Shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a Happiness salesman, I'll lend you a mask. You sell the mask and bring the money back here. If you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign right over there. Do you've sold all the masks? You will become a happy you will become happy yourself. Have faith. Uh sure. You borrowed a Keton mask. You'll be a popular guy with this mask on. Okay. Fair enough. I want to be a popular guy. Am I a popular guy? I think the great fairy is over in this corner. You might not actually be able to get there as a child. You might need to be an adult. I don't remember. I remember that as an adult you like throw the pillar over here. Okay, yeah, it's just a bombable, bombable rock. Okay. There's a sign that's like, hey, it's a dead end. Nope. Or under construction or something. I don't remember what the sign says. I could read it, but I'm not gonna.
Okay, Brandon Shock, it's your favorite part. We, I don't need to see the, uh, the action shots. Welcome, Link. I'm the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. These games, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can p count the polygon on those boobs with one hand. Din's fire. Din's fire is worth it, though. <laughs> they look a little better in the remaster version. <laughs> you need Din's fire, though, for some of the uh, puzzles. So, worth having. Um, I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to get some Skulltillas before I keep moving forward. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I need the um, adult wallet. So... Okay, I don't have the Song of Storms in a tree. Okay, you need to, you need it to get into the Shadow Temple as an adult, and and it, it makes some other things just easier too. Certain certain puzzles. Ooh, one rupee! Woohoo! Oh, you've been playing Pokemon? Oh crap! I got caught. Dude, I love Pokemon. Freaking love that game. Oh, it's this tree, I bet. Yep. Oh, I have to hit it twice. You got a token proving you destroyed it. Okay. So... That's all the ones I can get for now, because I don't have Song of Storms. Um... Going back the other way. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Um, it looks like we can get all of them in the Kokiri Forest. Um, I just got it less than a week ago. Borrowed from my cousin, and I'm already start level four, almost level five. Yeah. Um, I'm listen. I'm surprised that you've only played 13 hours because, dude, when I picked up that game, like that's all I wanted to do was. Uh, it was play Pokemon. I was instantly addicted. Um, it's it's a very fun game. Uh, I have kids in work. <laughs> See, I'm I'm like one of those half baked adults. I don't have kids, so I get to do get to do uh, silly, goofy things and like waste time and stuff. Um, I have cats. I can't honestly say they're comparable though. <laughs> okay, so behind the know it all brothers' house and the bean hole. That's what we, uh, I don't remember House of the Great Mito. I think he has some chests in his house. Can I steal his stuff? One rupee? Come on, Mito. Mito. Whatever your name is. I guess that's fine. I'm just stealing your stuff. How does that feel, chump? Ah! -ha -ha! Take all your stuff. The big bully. Okay. This is the Noda brothers. Hey, I might have I might have already got this one. We'll check. 
Oh, nope, I can hear it. Oh, here. There we go. Okay, uh, and a bean hole. Got it. Okay. <laughs> um, why am I spacing on what what's that's a reference to? Uh, not Ubers. Why can't I? Why can't I remember? Uh, what you're referencing? It feels like I hate the feeling of having something on the tip of your tongue. It's like a. It's almost like a. A sensory experience. Like I just feel awful. Um, where's the bean hole? Stop flipping. You freak. Where's the wind in by? Uh, is it up here? I'm looking for a bean hole. See, my brain, my brain goes to, do you remember, do you remember all the fun times we had? That's where my brain goes. Where's the bean hole? This is nonsense. I've never been so disrespected before in my life. I know, I know it's in this area. It's like not in like the Lost Woods or anything. Because as an adult, you can like ride it around and it takes you all around the area. Um, now where it actually is, apparently... I'm an idiot. Get over here. Oh, there it is. I see it. Hey, okay. got them all in that I can knit for now. How many is that? Uh, I need 10. I think that's how many. Oh, okay. I, it looks like I can get the adult wallet now. Um, but while on our way to that, I can, I can sneakily grab them from Hyrule Field too. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll just go um, back to Kakariko. Oops, I didn't mean to talk to you. Yeah, I already talked to Soraya. Learned her sick beats. You could have been getting down to this sick beat. Ch -ch -ch. A mod to this game where instead of playing Soraya's song for Darunia, it plays Taylor Swift. Honestly, it's the mod we've always wanted. It's the mod we deserve. Whoa! Um, let's double check that we got them all from Kakariko Village. A sculptilla near the tree, near the village entrance. Okay. Ready for this mad skills? Wah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The sun is rising. Oh no! I only go out at night! Okay. I need it. Uh, the reason why it matters is because, um, most sculptillas only come out at night. So, you, uh... Oh, really? That's hilarious. 
Oh, he was quoting a song. It's Earth, Wind, and Fire. He still it in a different comment. <laughs> oh. Wake me up when September ends. Uh, I might have already got that one. Yeah, I got that one already. Uh, Yeah, it's his dad, I think, right? There's one. I jump up there? No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey. Uh-oh. I'm gonna be stuck here, aren't I? Okay. Oh my god. I'm stuck. Uh... Boy in the graveyard, okay. Well, yeah, I'm great. Who wouldn't want to meet me? I have, like, a passing familiarity with the X-Men. It's not like... You need to push to talk, love. If you want people to hear your story. <laughs> uh, I hear it. Whoa, is this not one? Are you serious? I thought they all... Um, I mean, you're doing school. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, I can't get that. Sure. <laughs> Hard butts. <laughs> wow, I praise. Can I be- ask her if I can be a manager. I'll, I'll manage a gas station. What's even the point? What kind of power trip can you have if you're only that? I don't know which one is Impa's house. The flavor text on this is kind of cool. A scultilla nested at the top of the Kakariko lookout tower. The one in the graveyard says, The boy in the graveyard was being kept awake at night by the scratching of a scultilla. I don't think he's in the graveyard at night, because you can move the uh, stones or whatever. Okay, let's see if we can find, um, find Impa's house. don't think... This is it. Nope. Wow. Lots of people. 
Bum, 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 ba -da -da. Impa's roof. Okay. Um, it must be this building then, right? Because, um, that window is like two inches off the face of the wall. This used to be the great Impa's house, but she doesn't live here anymore. The problem with that is, like, you really can't be a pretend manager because people are going to be super pissed at you if you try to tell them what to do. No. Please don't tease my cuckoos. Now we can lock the roof. There's a way. Okay, I'm gonna cheat. <gasps> There's a way to like just jump. Oh, I thought the first one was 10. Oh, it is 10. Okay. The curse has been broken! Thank you! Here's a reward for you! The adult's wallet. Adults are allowed to carry a lot of money. Now you can hold up to 200 rupees. This is very important to get because, one, you can afford things, more things, but also, um... You don't lose as much rupees from your wallet overflowing. Okay. All righty, um, mission accomplished. Now let's go to the next portion. To the east of Kakariko Village flowed a river of sacred water from Zora's fountain. Navi informed Link that the Zoras were, were a civilization of fish people that held the final spiritual stone. Determined to unlock the Temple of Time with all three stones, Link trudged upstream to find them and the source of their river. Uh... Oh. Uh, well, maybe to beat the game, if you're, like, doing minimum amount of work, I think you're right, Brandon Shock, but, um, I think the gold scale is a Skulltilla award, which lets you do some other things. Like, it's good to, um, to, to find them. You want to find them. I haven't quite mastered the backwards walking yet. Waking up when you're told is not just an army thing. Oh, that's the- shoot! I was supposed to go over here! Oh, I see. I went straight to the forest. I'm directionally challenged. <laughs> Ready? 
Oh, what a letdown. Woohoo! Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Link. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. The door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Woohoo! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> this owl is notorious for sucking. Blathers? No, Blathers is great. Blathers. No, that's that's the mole. Uh, what's his name? Oh, why can't I? That's Mario Party. Um, Brissetti. That's his name. No, Monty's Mario. The Monty Moles. I don't think so. Not that I can remember. It might... Oh, Monty Gator! Yeah. <laughs> Not a mole, though. <laughs> I'm not a gamer. <laughs> I'm not a gamer either. Yes, I did. I did play Security Breach. <laughs> See, I was. I was thinking you were thinking of a mole creature, um, and I. I was like, no, there's not a. They're all the rage. Forty rupees. I'm gonna buy as many as I can, uh, because these are good to have. Oh, I should have, when I was in Kakariko, I should have planted the, uh, not planted, even the guy the mask. Oh, did I not? They'll still go in if they are going to. Uh, did I do it too far away? I might have did it too far away! Uh, do they not go in it? But you've already... Shoot, did I mess that up? I might have messed that up. Or does it only happen, like, at night or something? Here, it's night now, so let me try one more time. Nope, I don't think I'm going to get one out of this. Okay. That's fine. Um, I think there's a grotto right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully walk this cucko away. I don't want to bomb the cucko. Um, how do you get into the grotto? Um, yeah, it says there's this. Oh, do you play Song of Storms? I don't have Song of Storms. You need to be an adult to get it. Uh, and I am not. So, this part's really cool because, like, speedrunners, they like just jump around the gates and stuff. Pretty sick. Uh, this right here is also a good way to get money, and I need some. We'll go ahead and do this. As much as we can, anyways. The frogs are looking at you from underwater. Oh, 
I remember any of the other songs I know. <laughs> I think they give you rupees for playing the... Yeah. 50 rupees. Okay. Uh, what's another song? Up, left, right. Okay. I can get more beans. Uh, let's see. Down, right, left. It gave it to me. I don't know that it should have. I think I messed up. It's okay. Yeah, I'm glad you played the Ocarina well. I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to go get more beans. You are a kind person. Ow! No! Okay, that was weird. Yo! Sell me some beans! We have the popular magic beans. You'll regret it if you don't buy them now. I'm your only customer. These are the super popular magic beans. In case you're wondering, they'll soon be sold out. We have the super rare magic beans. This could be your last chance. I'm out of money. Hey, I have another song I can play. It's not going to get me enough to, uh... Get the beans, but it's okay. Okay, let's look at right down up. Cool. Yeah, I'm glad you play beautifully. Okay, so that's all I can get for now. I don't know any more songs. Da -da 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 -da. I need the boomerang. When I have the boomerang, I will be set. Hey, here we go. Zora's Domain. Behind the falls, Link found Zora's Domain, where he marveled at, wa at a watery wonderland filled with the bluest water. In the pools swam schools of Zoras, a curious hybrid of people crossed with fish. The hidden paradise should have been much happier than it was, Link thought, until he realized Ganondorf had recently been there. <laughs> My cat wants me to open the blinds. Is 
They like to look at the window, especially on the second story. It's like a high vantage point for them. They quite enjoy it. Uh, nope, you don't have anything that I want to buy. Gotta farm those deco sticks. Okay. Oh, I didn't get the letter. Shoot! Okay, we'll just talk to him. Oh, my dear sweet princess Ruto, where has she gone? I'm so worried. Okay. Ice? On what? Ah! Shoot! Delegation is really hard for people who are used to just doing it themselves. And as someone who is personally a control freak, um, I I like things done a certain way. If I do them myself, I know they're done right. Nah, it doesn't mean you're lazy, but like anything, it's a skill to be learned how to delegate. My mic is not picking you up, by the way. Well, because then if you let everyone hear you, then it could be a discussion everyone can participate in. That's what I was trying to tell one of my shift managers. Well, I'm just a lonely pretend cashier. Uh, pretend manager cashier is I told one of my managers that who seems always like trying to do everything herself that she needs to probably learn some delegation herself mm -hmm. that it's okay to delegate I know that she feels like she has to do everything herself to, for everything to be done to her standard and told her no offense but maybe learn some delegation not like that not learn more delegation but to delegate more Mm -hmm. Because usually she works, like, she'll be scheduled for, like, 10 hours, maybe, and she'll end up working 13 and a half because she's trying to get everything done. While there's yeah. cashiers standing at the register, while there's no one in the store, who could be doing something? It's actually kind of bad leadership, like, not being able to delegate ever. Like, that's, that's too far the other way. Yeah, sometimes I have, I have to delegate to my soldiers. I have to teach them how to properly inspect vehicles, and then I also have to rely on them. And it's one of the other things is like, yes, trust but verify. But verifying is far less work than doing the whole inspection yourself. Yes. And it's not lazy. Like, sometimes, like, I'll be, like, cleaning the kitchen, and I'll just be like, hey, Brandon, can you unload the dishwasher real quick? And with two people, like, it makes what feels like a really big task not be not be so overwhelming sometimes i'll have to find my soldiers wanting to do all the same tasks by themselves and i have to direct them like hey you <laughs> two go pmcs the vehicles me and you are going to go do your your soldierly evaluation form and then when we're done with that you're going to switch out with someone and yeah. then we're all going to get the stuff all the stuff we need done but we have to work together on this and unfortunately i have to trust you to be able to do the job which 
I also have to trust myself to train you to do it properly, but the trust but verify thing. Mm -hmm. I don't trust you to do the job, but I have to verify that you did do the job. Which, it seems like extra work, but you'll, you'll find it, like, sometimes people need extra help. As part of being a leader, leadership's hard. Yeah. But leadership shouldn't turn into a very hostile um, environment. It should be a pretty known, like, hey, I trust my leader to also direct me yeah. correctly. Some people hate being told what to do, and those people are also wrong. Yeah, sometimes you have to learn how to manage those kind of people, too, without making them feel like they're being, like, overly managed. Oops. That's one of the biggest parts. But delegation, like like Eagle said, is a really hard thing to learn. For certain because people. It, it is, it's really hard, especially if you have people who you can't trust to do it properly. You'll find that you want to do it right the first time yourself, and you'll start to spread yourself thin while you have soldiers that you're trying to like, or, or people, people you're trying to manage who aren't doing anything because, I don't know, you feel like you might as well just do it yourself. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of like why leadership is so hard and that's why leadership positions get paid more. Yeah. It's true. Right now at work, I am in charge, but I'm also a team of me. <laughs> And let me tell you, my team has the worst attitude. They won't stop complaining. They don't want to do anything. Oh, I definitely have people who will, like, get me in a lot of trouble, but I can't be mean to them. So I literally just have to talk to them and try to find corrective action, which usually is, how do I wake you up on time to get here on time so you can, like, take a pee test without me being yelled at? And how, yeah. you know, do, we, how do we work on this this whole thing like i need to make sure that you're doing your right thing i need to make sure i'm doing my thing but i also need to like leadership's like really hard and and it's really hard for some people to just like be able to i have a really hard time let me let me just say this i have a really hard time talking to people and telling them hey we need to fix something yeah. I'm more inclined to like fix everything myself. Can't do it all yourself. Without you, being... you have to tell other people what to do. I'm more inclined to like want to try to like just do everything myself than try to get someone else to do better. <laughs> well, that and that makes sense, right? Because like you're the only thing you can control. But um, yeah, it's not just a single person effort, right? I, I've been actually working Sundays where I have to like lead people. Yeah. And that's one of my things. I got a, a good corrective, uh, no, a continuous improvement plan today. And one of the things is that I need to be more assertive. Yep. Coming from the person who tries to do everything herself. <laughs> but I need to be more assertive because like I'm either working with someone who's been there longer who isn't really good at like having goals or doing extra. Or I have, like, a bunch of kids who are, like, you know, trying to make an extra buck. But really, like, this isn't their career goal. Yeah. So, I need to be able to manage them better. Even though I don't get paid to. <laughs> yeah. Although they have all offered me a manager position, which I respectfully decline because I'm going to school. Yeah, going to school. I view this. Well, I don't know. It's it, more important to me. Yeah. And I don't have the time to work manager hours. So, no. I, I mean, while it's going to be like a $13 raise, I can't, I mean, be able to work the extra five hours a week. Wow. Yeah, it's just it's just all about like focusing on what's most important to you instead of trying to do it all, you know.
Lord Jabu Jabu, the deity of the Zoras, was a mammoth fish that resided in a secluded fountain behind King Zora's throne. The Leviathan was covered in ornate markings that symbolized his exalted position in the Zora culture. The sacred being had recently become bitterly sick, and the cause was a mystery. Ah, camera! I'm getting better at not wanting to, uh... Move the camera. <laughs> it is a it is a learning curve with this game. Okay. Ropes. I'm Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? I never ask anyone to do such a thing. Let her in a bottle? What are you talking about? My father is worried about me? I don't care. Anyway, I can't go home right now. And you, get out of here, understand? Oh no! <laughs> Okay. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly since I was little, but... Lord Jabu Jabu is very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish and strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was... But... <laughs> That's none of your business. Anyway... You! Go home now! Understand? You're that worried about me? Then I will give you the honor of carrying me! However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You better believe me! Okay. Uh, so there's a couple Skulltillas. Okay, I, so I don't hurt those by doing that. Um... I can't, like, not target them, though. It's a bit of a problem. Okay. Um, I actually was not supposed to go this way. Well, let's explore around. I think you either shoot this or... No, maybe the nuts, I think. Um, I don't have the boomerang, so if I'm supposed to boomerang it, I can't. Okay, I think I'm supposed to hit it with the boomerang. So... Oh, I targeted again. Okay. I'll climb up, and then... Go get Ruto back. I, uh, was watching a speedrunner play this game the other day, and, um, has a little trunk. And this level is very dizzy-making when you're drunk. How oh, inconsiderate! How could you leave me behind? You're blah, 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 blah. Yeah, she yells at you if you leave. Oh, crap. These bubble things are so annoying! Uh oh. This isn't gonna- I'm gonna- She went away. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know where she went. I think I have to throw her on the ledge and then go over, but it's okay. I don't, uh, I guess. 
guess I can... Where'd the fairy go? There it is. Oh, I didn't catch it. Shoot. Doesn't matter. Hey, okay, let's go get Ruto. He's gonna yell at me. Ow. Now I know. Do not. Do not throw her. Or throw her and then do the. The lever thing. There we go. Okay, I think I need to throw her at the switch. Yep. Thanks, Ruto. Your peach. Ow. Uh. Isn't there a thing? Oh yeah, there is. Okay. Got him. Got him. Okay. So I think that the only way to go... This way? I don't think she liked my advice. You don't need to worry about her. No, I'm not. And you know, honestly, I wouldn't be offended if she didn't want me to take her shift because I don't really want to be working at 4 a.m. Oops. <laughs> That's really early. I need to leave her. Nice yep. Because I offered to work at 4 a.m. for her, <laughs> even though I don't want to. Well, don't make offers you don't want people to take. I don't have the boomerang. I only made this offer because I was willing to take it if she wanted me to. Yeah. Because she was really sick today. Yeah. Like, she was losing her voice, and I mean, to be honest, she was, like, griping, and she actually, like, went off on me, and I almost cried. Oh. But I could tell that she wasn't feeling well at all, because she wasn't able to really talk. Mm -hmm. And I felt really bad, and, I mean, that's why she said I'm, like, really great, and stuff like that, because I said, if you need me to take your ship tomorrow, I will. Because I don't deal with that stick stuff. Like, when you need help, Oops. you can ask for help. And I told her, like, I'm the... No. Nay. She's the only person I've ever offered to, like... Oh, that's a bomb. ...take a shift for her without her even asking for someone to take her shift. That was nice of you. It was really nice of me. I'm a great I don't person. know if I can hit him. Sometimes I care a lot. And it really hurts me. <laughs> Boomerang? But I know everybody's had that moment that they're like, why do I, why do I care so much? <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Uh, sometimes you can skip the text fast, a lot of times you can. Well, it was nice of you to take her shift. She didn't want me to. She said she'd get over it. She's been doing it for the last 17 years of her life. <laughs> oh my god. And she's never sick. Because she's a mom. 
with a husband and she can't be sick. And I told her she's allowed to be sick because she was very sick and she was very snappy today. <laughs> be sick over there. I didn't, I didn't tell her that she was very snappy today, but she did almost make me cry today because she was pretty snappy at me. And I was like, I don't think I deserve this. No. I'm just trying to print out these cell signs, and I don't know which way to put them because I can't remember which way to put these cell signs. And I printed them off wrong. Then she oh. printed them off wrong, and then she printed them off right. And then I remembered how she printed them off. And then she was like snappy at me for like remembering how she printed them. She's like, "You do you then," and I was like, "I don't deserve this. I don't des deserve this whatsoever." And then I worked the cooler shift with her, and she was being really snappy at me because she was saying things. Well, she was doing things, and I was trying Ow. to help her, but I wasn't helping her right. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, and, and you know what? I, I knew that she was feeling really sick, because she was barely able to talk. But there was times in my day where I was like, so she hates me, because well, I no, don't know No, she can't take it out wants. on you. That's not fair. It wasn't fair, but I, I, I get where she was coming from. I just... It was really easy to take it personal when it really wasn't personal. Yeah. Because then afterwards, she gave me a continuous improvement plan that was, like, really nice and good. And she gave me a lot of compliments about, mm -hmm. like, I'm a go-getter, I do a lot of stuff, and she couldn't figure out where I needed to improve, and the only thing that I needed to improve on was being more assertive with the kids. There you so go. Really... I'm gonna do that like stereotypical the things that we got yelled at today. It's not really my job to be more more assertive to my coworkers, but I'll take it if that's where she wanted to go with it. If it makes and I and I do want Monday mornings to go better for her. Mm -hmm. If she's opening Monday mornings and they're doing a lot of stuff, I want that to be as easy as possible for them. So I'm gonna try to do the best I can for them Sunday nights. However, I don't think that's my job to be more assertive with my coworkers, especially knowing that they've either been there the same amount of time that I've been, and especially because yeah. I'm working with people who primarily work nights, and that's the only night that I work, I shouldn't have to be the one. I hear you. Like, this is what we need to do, when they should be the one who, are, who is telling me, like, this is yeah. what we need to do, because this is what our typical night composes But I think of. different maturity levels, like changes like the dynamic too right that is true because like i see things differently differently than my coworkers, and i also know what it's like to work morning so i know it like makes <laughs> it easier to work morning yeah but also the, a lot of the people who i work with just want to like you know game yeah or they just kind of honestly same school. and like it's like whatever whatever happens tonight we did what we could. And for me, it's like, yeah, I know. Sundays is the most understaffed days that we have, or, or nights that we have. So I basically have to, like, I'm running around all over the place. And if I was able to delegate better, mm -hmm. maybe it might make a difference, but probably, honestly, not. Because a lot of the people I work with don't have the same motivation I have. Yeah, that's the key, is, like, what do you do when you have different motivations, right? Like, I feel stretched thin on Sunday. Yeah. Because I'm running counter, and I'm doing all these different tasks, while one of my coworkers are doing, like, a small little portion of what we're supposed to be doing very slowly. But I know that we have a lot to do, so I'm running counter, I'm doing drip trays, I'm doing grill, yeah. I'm doing write-offs, I'm doing a lot of paperwork, and also a lot of other things. And yeah, I got complimented because we do get a lot of stuff done that does make it a lot easier on the morning. However, if I had coworkers who cared more, it might make a difference. However, like... Well, yes. they either need to coach them to care more, or give you the authority to, like, tell them what to do. Because, like, they can't have it both ways. And the authority is what really matters. And while they can tell me that, like, on my good write-up write that, like, I need to be more assertive because that's, like, the only thing she could come up with. Yeah. I can't make my coworkers care more. I just can't. 
And these are the same people that they have me working with on Sundays that they can't control themselves. Yeah. Can't get it. Oops. That's it! That's what I've been looking for! Throw me up there! Onto the platform! <laughs> Princess Rudo got the spiritual stone? But why Princess Rudo? Oh my goodness! I finally found my mother's stone! I got very upset when Lord Jabu Jabu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised I dropped it inside. But now that I found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. So, take me home, right now! Yeah! What is this, an octopus? I don't know how to hit him. Oh, I hit him in the back. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to be so fast. Oh, but then he turns around. Uh oh. I can't hit him. I don't remember the strap for this. It has to do with cornering really quickly. Got him. Will that make him turn around? Oh, shoot. Oh, not cool, man. Can I, like, drop a bomb? opposite way the spikes, I remember. <laughs> Click the wrong button on accident. Does that count? No, oh, I think that counted. Cool. Ow, I'm gonna die. But then he goes around. I mean, he clicked at the side, but I'm like flicking the stick funny.
Just taking all of my concentration. Oh, I think I'm getting too close to him. And so he teleports away. Ow. I have to hit him from further. Is that what's going on? I can't like get close enough to Z target. Come on, hit him, Link. Oh, I died. Shit. No, I have a fairy. It's fine. Not what I expected to be using a fan. Now I'm invincible. Got it, finally. This is a stressful fight because you gotta cut these corners. But not too closely because there's spikes. Oh. Okay. Ah. I'm trying to Z target him and I'm. Goodness. <laughs> He's just out of reach. Okay, that's a busy targeting. I'm not moving fast enough. There we go. I know. That's an annoying boss fight. Where's Ruto? Oh, also, when you come back with a fairy, does it not give you your magic back? Do -do -do -do. Where's Ruto? Oh, no, there's crates. I remember. I 
let my fairy go on accident. It's okay. There's plenty of fairies to be had, but that's really obnoxious. I should have pulled that off of my hotkey. Yeah, when you flick the stick... Oh, there's the... When you flick the stick on the switch, it, uh... Who knows what it's gonna do. If it bounces a little, it'll... Oops. Forgot that, uh, if you hold it, you can aim. Got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, this looks like a. Oh, need to be further back. Whoops. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! <laughs> did I get my boomerang back? Okay, I think I did. Okay, like a step closer, and another step. There we go. There we go. Hello, cat. Cat has joined me. Bioelectric anem anem anemone. <laughs> that wasn't on purpose, I'm just stupid. That dang switch flick, man. Who even knows what you're gonna get? Ah! <laughs> I'm supposed to get my boomerang through that? There's no way. Goodness, he's so fast. Got him. I didn't see target. Oops. I don't know where that well, I'm out of bombs now, so I got that going for me. He got me. Oh, I'm trying to target him and he's getting me. No, I'm not gonna hit him that far away. I don't think you can hit him when he's in this phase. To come out. There we go. Got him. Way easier than the stupid octopus thing. Anything good in these? Another fairy, maybe? Because I accidentally wasted mine. Okay, there's Ruto. You, you're late. What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. Little. Little.
you. You look cool. Cooler than I thought you would anyway. Just a little. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. I want that spiritual stone. You mean the spiritual stone of water? Zora Sapphire? Don't you? My mother gave it to me and said I should give it to only the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. All right. I'll give you my most precious possession, the Zora Sapphire. Women can't help but swoon for Link. Goodness, that took far more concentration than I would have liked it to. <laughs> You obtained the Zora Sapphire. This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. The most precious possession? You don't know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to see Princess Zelda. Don't tell my father. Would never. Okay. I feel like if I bump into this tree, something will happen. Knew it. Okay, well that does it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.